<laughs> the battle against the IO inside of Fortnite is continuing on, and the Seven have been continuing to push them back. However, they could definitely use a bit of help, and that's where the new armored helicopter comes into play. Now, before we hop into it, guys, if you think it would be awesome to have next Monday off of school, just a full weekend to sit back and relax, leave a like on the video, but be fast. But yes, guys, we're going to be talking about a bunch of new vehicles and stuff, a bunch of new update things. We've even got a couple of cool glitches to go over, the craziest secret spot that you've ever seen, and a ton more. And speaking of which, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe since it only takes a second, and over 80% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. That's crazy, let's fix that. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code SIRS inside of the Fortnite item shop. And can't forget about the skin on last video, it was the Sith Trooper. So here's a bunch of people that got that right, and this time around, let's go with this skin here. So comment down below if you know the name of it, and I'll leave hearts on a ton of the ones that get that right. So hopping on into it here with the first thing I want to show you, let's start off the video with a couple of cool glitches. Both of these have to do with this area over here, Command Cavern. This area has so many glitches and secrets in it, it's awesome. So first things first, let's head down to the bottom area right here. This first glitch has to do with the vault room. Oh my gosh, that's an IO guard. No, run away. Hold on, chill. I'm not trying to fight you. I'm just trying to do this glitch. But yeah, if we run on down to the area where the vault is, right down here in this spot, and then turn around, we're also going to need to grab a bit of materials. So obviously this doesn't work in like no build mode. Actually, it might. We'll test that out in a second. But if we put a ramp piece right here and then walk up to the ceiling, look straight up and go a little bit to the right here. You can see that an indicator pops up. We got to go real slow to get it. We can actually enter the zip line that is above us. So if I click that button, there we go. We just teleported to the top of this area, literally teleported right through the floor. And now this IO guard wants to fight us. Not for long though. But yeah, that's super cool because obviously this floor piece is completely solid. There's no way to actually break through from the vault area up to this spot unless you use this glitch. So like, let me try that again right here. If we run down to this area, oh, we broke the wall that was right here. I wonder if you can do it by just jumping. Uh, probably a lot tougher to do. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is possible. It's not really working. So let's just put a ramp piece back there, then look up. And then again, we can just enter the zip line and escape. But on top of that, I've got another funny glitch to show you. This one is pretty simple, but if you find one of these doorways that is just partially open, you can do a weird sprinting glitch if you run into it and then crouch. You'll do this like slow sprinting animation where he's actually crouch walking, but not actually going very fast. So if we try that again, just run and then crouch, he'll go into the animation like he's just chugging along, but he's not actually going very fast. I don't know. It's just kind of a funny glitch that I randomly just found out about. Now guys, before we hop into the stuff that has to do with the brand new armored helicopter, we've got a bunch of other new info that I wanted to cover. Like for example, one such thing that isn't really a vehicle, but kind of, this was added a while ago, but I'm surprised it hasn't actually been added into the game yet. Hypex had said that there's an updated variant of the loot drones that we saw all the way back in chapter one, season nine. The little drones that flew around the map and when you fired at them, they dropped loot onto the ground. He specifically said that there is a seven version that is in the works and should likely be added soon. And then on top of that, we got to check out another map change here that is honestly kind of funny because it has to do with Peely. So for this, we need to go down to around Sleepy Sound and I think actually go over to this area where there's this bus. Now, please, Peely. Yes, he's right there. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? He's like presenting the vehicle that he's driving, which is honestly perfect because this video is kind of themed around vehicles. But where is he going? What else is he looking at? Oh, he looks a little confused now. Like, what is he doing? Now he's going back to the front and back to his first animation. So let's see if he has anything to say, anything different. Peely thoughtfully kicks the tires of the bus. Okay, so that is different. What are these? Wait, oh my gosh, we can talk to him? Bro, I didn't even know that. Driving again? Are you sure you can handle that thing? Let's ask him. Peely gives you a confident thumbs up. Nice. <laughs> what happens if we continue here? Oh, that's all we can say with that? Well, there was the other option as well. Please, I'm begging you, drive a smaller car. <laughs> Peely turns to the bus. His eyes light up with fiery determination. Oh my gosh. He's gonna keep driving crazier and crazier stuff, I guess. That's interesting though, because I think before he was actually driving an ice cream truck. So is he trying to drive bigger and bigger vehicles? Is he gonna be in a tank by the end of this? All right, Peely, we're definitely keeping an eye on you through the rest of these updates here. But moving on here, guys, before we talk about the main new vehicle, the armored helicopter from the brand new update stuff, I gotta show you what might just be one of my best hiding spots that I've ever found. This one is crazy. 
easy. So for this one, we actually need to go back to Command Cavern. Like I said, there's a ton of secrets in that area. So let's head over there as quick as possible. We're actually going to need to first grab a jetpack from the blimp on the right. So let's see here, run inside and jetpack? No, <laughs> come on, there's gotta be, there we go, there's a jetpack. Let's also make sure to grab some weapons. It would be crazy to get an elimination from up in this spot. Honestly, having like a sniper would probably be the best. Or actually, this would probably work, the striker. So yeah, once we have some weapons, we're going to need to go, well, let's see if we can get into the spot from here. In order to do it, we need to go below here and then use our jetpack to go up into this corner where we should be able to mantle if we get into the correct spot. There we go. Mantle, come on. You gotta get right in the correct spot before we run out. It's a little tricky. Oh no, we're running out of jetpack fuel. Dang it. Luckily though, it's pretty easy to retry. We just need to go into here and then fire right into the ceiling and that'll allow us to go right over to the secret spot. And then come on, just perfectly mantle. Yes, we got it. Check this spot out, guys. Oh my goodness. We are all the way at the very top of Covert Cavern. Like this spot is insane. How would anybody ever discover us up here? And like we can deal damage as well. Gunner is all the way down there. We can just fire at him. He does actually see us though. So we got to be a little bit careful. No, wait, he broke the rock we were standing on. <laughs> no. All right, well, that didn't go according to plan. But yeah, again, that spot is insane. You could definitely get some cool eliminations from up there. Now, you know what, guys? Let me show you a bonus secret spot here. Since that one was so good, let me show you another one I just found recently. If we go inside of the covert command, whatever it's called, honestly, IO guard, chill out, please. Why are you guys always trying to bug me? Oh, that's what you get. But yeah, if you go over here, especially in no build mode, that's when this is the best. Make sure you also have a jetpack again, but you can actually stand in these windows up here. Like I saw these and wondered if I could stand on them. And lo and behold, you can. And honestly, it makes for a really good ambush spot because anybody running through like these areas, a lot of the time, like they won't expect you to be all the way up there. So it's honestly a really good spot. It also works on both sides. So you can just stand up here and surprise anybody. Now guys, it is time to talk about the armored chopper or armored chopper, whatever you want to call it. Because as you remember, way back in previous seasons of Fortnite, we did have the choppers on the map and they acted exactly like helicopters. We can fly them around. They're even still in creative if you want to give them a go. But according to a bunch of leaks, we are going to be getting a totally new and updated variant of these. Now, starting from the very beginning of this info, it actually has to do with these brand new campsites that are going to show up around the map. According to iFireMonkey, there's going to be seven of them in total scattered around the map at different corners. Now, so far, I'm pretty sure those are not there. If you go to the locations, not much shows up. But he goes on to say that five of these locations will eventually let you fund the return of a choppa at the outpost's location. That's right, guys. That's our first bit of info confirming the return of these helicopters onto the map. On top of that, he had also put out another tweet that said a similar thing, but it adds that these are actually going to be a seven variant of the choppers, which is super cool. Now, personally, I want it to look something like this. I think an upgraded one with different missiles and stuff would be so cool. But then again, going back to a trailer that was released last season, we got to see a different style of the helicopter. So that could be the one we get. However, there's also been stuff in the files about a seven themed tank, and we haven't quite gotten that as well. So the question is, when are we going to get these things? I mean, the battle against the IO is well underway. We are pushing them back all the way to Command Cavern. So we've got to be getting these soon. I'd expect them to be in like the next update or maybe possibly they'll be used for the final push against Command Cavern because we still have a couple of blimps to take down. But once those are done, we're going to be battling them directly at that location. Then after that, guys, let's go over a sort of secret challenge. We've actually got, I think, two challenges here to check out that I'm really curious about. So like the first one here, we need to go down and find one of the beacons in order to get like the first stage done. And I think we can go right over here to like this side of Greasy Grove. One of them should show up right there. So hopping out of the battle bus, Let's head right on down there. Oh, and there we go. I see it. All right, so we just got to land right at this beacon and it should give us the first stage. And the origin says, I had grand plans to trick the imagined order by leaking fake seven intelligence. Unfortunately, someone planted a real intelligence report. And now we know that human-sized bananas do not make for good covert agents. Oh my gosh, he's talking about Peely. But now we have to steal that report back. Okay, so like, where do we have to go for this? It looks like there's one pretty close to Greasy Grove. So let's head on over to that 
that one. Oh my gosh, there's people like really close to here. Oh no, they're shooting at me. Quick, quick, get into the car. All right, we got to make this escape fast. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I think we're good. Whoa, that was a little bit close. But yeah, we should be safe. Let's head on over to that area. All right, so over at this tower right here is where we need to go. And that looks like the intelligence report. It says top secret on it. And there's a banana next to it. Oh my gosh. All right, so interact with that. Get the report. Oh, we need to get two of them. So we're going to need to go to another outpost. All right, where's the nearest outpost? Oh, it's a little far away. Kind of near the Joneses. Oh, it's a bunny. It looks like they don't have a weapon either. So they're just running around. Okay, we're going to run away from them. I don't want to get in a fight right now. I want to just as quickly as I can run all the way over to that area. Oh gosh, there's a person right there. We're playing this like a secret agent. We're going to try and avoid as many people as possible. So let's see. We're at the outpost. This one is like way broken down, but there is a report here. All right, pick it up. Let's see what the origin has to say. Thank you for retrieving this. Peely has been reassigned to his previous mission. Learning to drive. Whoa, what? Why are we? Never mind. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe as well as turn on notifications for more fun videos like this coming up super soon. You can also check out some of my previous videos on the screen right here, such as going over the lightsabers being unvaulted. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.